Teaching the basics of the system is the foundation for any good customer ed session. But it's important to know what info to cover next to complete the experience. The customer wants to understand some of the more advanced features of their receivers without feeling overwhelmed. Hi, I'm Olivia. In this video, we're going to fine tune the customer ed process by covering DVR functions. At this point in customer education, the customer must be comfortable with the basics of their system. Ask them to demonstrate that they can get the TV back on the correct input and have them show you they can navigate through the guide successfully. Without a firm grasp of this information, the customer will be lost when you're explaining the DVR. Though the function and control of the DVR is similar between the hopper and other receivers, there are some minor differences that we'll address as we go along. Start from a live, family-friendly premium channel. Use the DVR Getting Started Guide to help the customer to learn the features of their DVR. These controls will be universal for all DVR receivers, including the hopper. Point out the section of the remote where the DVR controls are located and have the customer pause live TV. Instruct the customer to press the play button to resume the program. Explain how to skip backward and forward. Pressing the skip back button will move the program backwards 10 seconds. This is very useful if you missed a big play or an important part of a movie. Have the customer skip backwards three times. The skip forward button will move the program 30 seconds ahead. Have the customer skip ahead once. Finally, have the customer get back to live TV by pressing the live TV button on the remote. Explain the most basic way to set up a recording. From live TV, the customer will simply have to press the record button on the remote. For the hopper, there will be different options after you press record. The screen will display a message telling you to press record again for more options. This allows you to extend the time of the recording. Have the customer use the forward and back buttons to extend and decrease the recording time. Instruct the customer to get back to live TV and walk them through recording a future program. Ask the customer to press the guide button, scroll to their favorite show, and press select. This will bring up a menu which allows the customer to select the frequency for the timer. Have the customer choose the frequency and then select Create Timer. For the hopper, there will be slightly different options. When the customer selects a show in the future from the program guide, a box will pop up with three options. Record this, record series timer, and more info. If the customer selects record this, it will set a one-time recording. If the customer chooses record series timer, they'll be prompted to choose the recording type, frequency, and other settings. Have the customer choose the settings for their timer and get back to live TV. Next, teach the customer how to watch a recording. Have them press the DVR button and then select My Recordings. Ask the customer to scroll through the list and select what they want to watch. Then they'll select Start to play the recording. For the hopper system, have the customer press the DVR button and then the red shortcut button. This will pull up a menu with several DVR related options. For now, ask the customer to highlight My Recordings and press Select. This is where the program that we recorded during setup and activation comes into play. Instruct the customer to scroll over to the tile that displays the pre-recorded program. Be sure to have the customer press the Play button, not the Select button. Now once you're in the recording, you can use the fast forward, skip back, skip forward, rewind buttons to control the recording itself. Move to step four and explain how to delete recordings. Have the customer press the DVR button and select My Recordings. Then instruct them to highlight a recording and press Select. They'll have to select Delete and then confirm the deletion by selecting Yes. It's going to ask, do you really want to delete it? We're going to say Yes. Go ahead and press it. It'll tell you it's being deleted and it jumps us back to the DVR screen, you'll see that it's gone now. Mm -hmm. For the hopper system, instruct the customer to press the DVR button and then the red shortcut button. Ask the customer to highlight My Recordings and scroll over to the tile that contains the program to be deleted. Teach the customer how to complete the deletion by pressing Select on the highlighted tile. This brings up a list. The customer must select Delete and then Yes to finish the process. In the last step of the DVR Getting Started Guide, you'll show the customer how to delete a scheduled timer. Start from Live TV. 
Instruct the customer to access the schedule by pressing the DVR button, scrolling up to select My Recordings, selecting Schedule, and then scrolling up to select Timers. Have the customer scroll to the future recording they set up in the previous step and press Select. Then they'll need to scroll up, select Delete, and confirm the deletion by selecting Yes. It's going to ask you again, are you sure you want to delete it? Scroll over and say Yes and now it's deleted the timer. So that show will stop recording from that point forward. Okay. For the hopper system, ask the customer to access their timers by pressing the DVR button, pressing the red shortcut button, highlighting timers, and pressing select. Next, instruct the customer to highlight and select the timer they wish to delete. This will bring up three options, edit timer, timer schedule, and delete timer. Have the customer select Delete Timer and then confirm by selecting Yes. Let's review what to cover in the DVR portion of customer education. Use the DVR Getting Started Guide and walk the customer through the five basic steps. Using the DVR while watching live TV, the different ways to set a recording for a TV program, how to watch the programs that have been recorded, how to delete a recorded program, and how to delete a scheduled timer. Remember that the DVR functions are essentially the same throughout each system, but there will be some variations between VIP and Hopper as we discussed here. That'll do it for now. Thanks for joining us.